Yes, yes, Your Honor. You filed a motion to set aside the default judgment, right? Yes. And they're not objecting to the setting aside of the default judgment. And they're also seeking to dismiss the case. Okay. No, and sir. I, what I asked is whether or not you had a problem with that. Your Honor, she just said no. So <laughs> she said no. What? That they that they're not agreeing to do that. I I, I don't know what's going on. It's 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 this is so <laughs> Me either now. I'm I I know it went from four thousand to almost. 15,000 right now. So that's why I'm not understanding what's going on. And I'm, I don't know. All right. Let's let, let me um, start again. Counsel, my understanding is this was the defendant's motion to set aside the default, judgment, right? That's correct. Your and that plaintiff was not opposing that. Um, that is the records that I have, and I got those from my uh, partner. If um, the manager from Danbury can speak to that, I don't know if they have their numbers squared away. That I just we we're going to dismiss it and then refile. Okay, they may refile, but for this, my understanding is they're setting it aside and dismissing the case. Because if my part manager has different information, that's just what I have in my records here. Um, She's on the line. Could you address that from Danbury? Absolutely. It was to be uh, as if she followed through with um, the payment plan that was set up by Hawk. I did speak with the um, representative from the Hawk program at SOS um, Services, and they were only willing to pay up to two thousand dollars. No other funds had been resolved. There is no resolution to the issue, and the documents have not been completed. Um, responsibility for the resident. Um, I am new to the property. I've come on the 10th, but I've reviewed all her file and she has not been compliant. It was to be uh, dismissed if she were compliant. That's not, that's not, that's not true. I recertified last year. After my recertification, I never received anything from you all. You're you're new. This is this is really old. I I, I recertified at that point. It said I owed four thousand dollars. Right now it says close to fifteen. I understand. I, I needed I needed a copy of my recertification. I never got a a copy of my recertification paperwork stating that I had I had no income, so the rent should have been zero. No, that's that's the issue. I never received anything as far as my recertification. And I did recertify. And and I believe that is true, Your Honor. I, I, I guess at this point, if I could just seek an adjournment, I, I'll leave it to the court's discretion. <laughs> really? <on> that. <laughs> <laughs> That's where I was headed anyway. Um, okay, folks. Somehow or another, everybody needs to get this resolved. I don't have a sticker. Yes, Your Honor. I, I, and I wanted to say on the record, I've been up to that office numerous times. I've called over over the course of a year either if no one's in the office they never answer the phone i mean I, I i hawk gave up on me because they couldn't get through to management they're ju we're just now getting through just now getting through to management because this could have been resolved last year okay if you could both um since you're having a communication problem you could both call my office we're in our office from nine to five monday through friday if i'm trying to do management. that I've tried to call you guys. I, I, I'm, I'm getting no help. Okay. I had a lawyer that was working with me. He don't even want to work with me because there's no correspondence. There's no, there, there's no one to help me. I'm doing this by myself. So now it's okay. fifteen thousand dollars. I don't understand that. How? Okay, Mister Now. Yes, Your Honor. I'm sorry. Right. I'm really upset. I can this, tell. It's going nowhere, Your Honor. This is it's going in next next month. It, it's going to be twenty thousand in a minute. Okay, I don't know that. All I can say is this: um, what counsel's indicated is is that both you and the property manager need to call his office 
And then you guys can have a discussion. It doesn't mean that you have to agree, but at least you can agree on exactly what anybody wants the court to do. Okay, so Ms. Donnell, can you do that for me? Yes, Your Honor. I need my recertification that when I recertified last year, that for some reason they've lost that. And now they're charging market rent from what I understand, and it's $1,300 a month. Can you believe that? For here. $1,300 a month. Okay. Yeah. So you That's don't have your... One. I'm sorry. Okay. Your Honor. Okay. So you don't I, I have your... Re I recertified last March. Last March, I recertified. In their office, I filled out the necessary paperwork to re did the recertification. And at that time, I was getting unemployment, which ended in April. So that following month, my unemployment had ended and, the, and my income would have went down to zero. But I filled out the paperwork and everything and submitted everything I was supposed to submit. I never received any correspondence after that. I haven't been able to get in touch with anyone. Okay. In that office. All right. Mr. Now, Mr. Now. Yes. Let's do this. You got a property manager that's new and you got certain information that she may not have. Okay, so why don't you contact counsel's office? He'll get in touch with his clients, and maybe you guys can have a meeting to try to clarify all of those issues. Okay, yes, yeah, sure. All Thanks. right, let me adjourn this matter out. Thank you, Your Honor. Thank you so Thank much. I appreciate it, and I'll adjourn it to no. <laughs> March 5th, 2024, 9 a.m. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Adam. Ms. Donald, right. if you want to call me after 2 30 today, I'll be done with my hearings for the day. <clears throat> Abs absolutely. I'll do that. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Right. Thank you. Thank, so you. Much. Thank you. So, and you told me that was going to be easy. Yeah, you, know, you certainly did. You certainly did. So I'm not taking any more files from you. <laughs> Where are we, Jim? The last time we were here, the last time we were here, you told us to go out in the hall and uh, make an arrangement. Uh, at that point in time, I agreed uh, with Mr. Smith to waive the late fees, but not the month, the month fees. Uh, we have prepared a consent judgment at that point in time for $1,755, uh, which includes 217 in court costs, plus the January's rent and the month to month fee. He was to have paid it by January 29th, 2024. He hasn't paid it yet. So we're, we're, we're here right now in January, and I'd like the ability to add the um, February's rent in late charge to that amount. Because January, uh, February's rent has not been paid either. Well, but you said you had the judgment, but you didn't enter that. I didn't sign that judgment. No, you. You didn't sign the judgment. I, I had submitted it to the court. Uh, the court set it up for hearing because they wanted to uh, put the consent on the record. I have the judgment here, uh, but the time for payment of that amount has expired. So I didn't know what the court wanted to do. All right. Sir, what's your position? Yeah, yeah. So um, I agree with the, the terms uh, of what's old, but I would like to certify my rights of subrogation and settle the account. Do what? Uh, certify my rights under sub subrogation and settle the account. What does that mean? Uh, in equity, settle this account because this is has to do with equity. That's, that's to do with non-payment of rent. Uh, still, it's equity. That's what we're dealing with. <clears throat> so I do have a right to subrogation. 
and I would like to okay. certify my right to Sir, subrogation and so settle the account. You have a right to subrogation, you're saying? Correct. Explain that to me. Explain it to me. I mean, that's basically what it is, Your Honor. It's, it's my right. I mean, explain, I would assume explain that, what you that the think, court would understand. Well, explain what, that, what you think that means. When a third party intervenes to take place or pay. Okay, so who's the third party? Uh, basically, it's under my estate where they're administrating the, the, the claim from. What estate? My all caps name. Your all caps name? Correct. Okay. So, first of all, under what you just explained to me, there is no right of subrogation. So there's, there's, we can't settle the account under subrogation. You can settle not under subrogation. I don't. What you've explained is not subrogation. I mean, if you want me to actually give you the definition. Oh, I understand what subrogation means. I was oh, okay. checking whether you do, because what you're saying is not subrogation. So well, that's how I would like to settle the account. Yeah. Well, settling the account and subrogation are two separate things. Okay. So if you want to settle the account, you need to pay it. Okay. It's as simple as that. All right. No problem. Okay. So Mr. Weiss, with February's rent, how much is owed? Uh, with February's rent, sticking to the deal that Mr. Smith and I made last week, uh, waiving the $225 in prior late fees, not including February's late fee, which is now due, um, Mount Owing would be $31.93, uh, which includes the 217 in court costs. 31.93. Could I get a statement of that as well? Well, I'll put it in, in the right. judgment. All right. And how much time does he have to get that paid? 10 days. You could allow me, Your Honor. Uh, I can give him up to the 20. Okay, just, okay, Mr. Fine. Weiss, don't interrupt. Well, go ahead. What? Yeah, that's fine. To the uh, 20th. I'll, I'll give him to the 20th. That should be enough time. Wasn't that easier in the last case, Your Honor? Not really. It almost went <laughs> south. Um, I know take, you made a face when I come up here. Let him, let him take a look at uh, it. All right. It's also a money you, judgment. You've looked at you've looked at over. Yes, sir. All right. You have any questions regarding anything contained on this? No, sir. All right. So I'm going to sign this, okay? And then if you need a copy, you can pick up a copy up front at the front counter. Okay. Okay. All right. I signed off. I'll enter that judgment. You guys are all set. All right. Thank all right. You. Thank you. Thank you.